bringing in our, our, our guest. She's a guidance counselor. Alaja Ghaniyat Babala, thanks for joining us. Sorry, we had connection issues earlier. Are you there? Good morning, I'm here. Good, good morning. morning. Good, good morning. morning. Everyone in this good studio. to Thank have you. Thank you very much for having me. Fantastic. So, we were talking about so many factors affecting young people today. Um, we saw the five young ladies who are currently going under rehabilitation under the government because of the smoking of shisha. But we're also taking it beyond that, saying that aside from that, there are issues of abuse, issues of um, general moral decadence in our society with young children. How do we begin to have this conversation? How do we begin to solve the problem inside out? Thank you very much. Uh, I greet everyone. Good morning, Nigeria. You have hit the matter on the, on the head. It is going on in the society and almost every community, almost every home is experiencing this issue of violence against women and girls. Take, for instance, the issue of the girls we are referring to now. They are from different homes. Only God knows what is responsible for that. And the, what is responsible for that is not far-fetched. A lot of things could be responsible for this. And that is why it is, it is important, it is highly essential that we talk about violence against women and girls in our community. Globally, violence against women and girls affects one in every three women in their lifetime. lifetime. And mostly one in three women experience this violence perpetrated on them by their intimate partner. And there is no doubt about the fact that uh, it is a human rights violation. The impact, the negative impact of uh, violence against women and girls is what we can see in those girls that we are referring to now. In, there are a lot of underlying factors responsible for what we can see in those girls. A girl that is raised in the home that violence against women or, or, or intimate partner violence is the order of the day. What do we expect from, the, from such a child? A home where a child cannot walk up to a mother and uh, express herself about what is troubling her, about uh, her experience. Of course, such a girl will take solace in, in, in her friends. Peer influence. They are all responsible for the moral decadence in our society. It is high time we discuss, we all sit and we all come together to discuss the issue of violence against women and girls. All right, of Alaja, it is I know, not just starting. I know, I know violence yeah. against women is one of the various factors people go through that might have this ripple effect in children. And I know that, th that that's what our focus would be with the conversation with you. But we'll, we'll pack the issue of, um, of um, drug abuse for a moment because we still have to discuss it another day thoroughly. So we'll come to the issue of violence against, which is what our, our guest is prepared for. Now, we know the data of violence against women in the homes. What can, what can we do, not just as a, as a government, but as society, to help those who are in need of assistance in this issue? Because there are lots of women and even men that are undergoing violence in their homes, but they don't know where to go to. Is it, it is something that you don't want to talk about? You don't want to share because you feel it's very private and mm. demeaning. So who can they talk to? Where can they go? Where can they seek help in this kind of situation? Thank you very much. And that is one of the reasons why we are here this morning. We understand the fact that violence is ravaging our society. And when it's a lot of women, they don't even know who to turn to. The fact that some of them are not even speaking out. But it is very, very important that we be the mouthpiece, the mouthpiece for those who cannot speak out. We should be the mouthpiece for those who cannot express themselves. A lot of agencies, we know the government alone cannot do it. That is why the civil society organization, the faith-based organization are being dragged into it. NASPART is partnering with a lot of international organizations, and this time we are partnering with UNICEF on ending violence against women and girls. We have been requested to sensitize our communities, our members, the public, on the issue of violence against women and girls. There are a lot of medium that, with which you can reach out to us. NASPART is not doing it alone. We are partnering with a lot of other agencies that are in this field that are doing wonderfully well. 
we partner with Mirabe Center, with Chechenyara, and other agencies like that. But for you to reach out to NASPAT, you can walk up to a counseling committee, children affairs committee, in any of our branches. Or you can call our airline, 0704-811-5092. I'll take that again. 0704-811-5092. Our imams, our spiritual leaders, have been sensitized on how to handle issues of violence against women and girls. Whenever a, a, a case comes up like that, we require them, the ones that we know that we cannot handle at their salary level, we require them to their appropriate quarters where they can get the help that they need. A lot of women are really going through a lot. That is why mm. we have come on board this morning. That enough of suffering in silence. Mm. Reach out for the help. Help is out there. Go right. to any NASPAT Asalatu branch. And All right, thank you, you Elijah. So we're going to get the details for NASFAT on our uh, individual pages. And we'll try to share it because it's important. You're right. Lots of women are dying in silence. Yeah. Many of them are not speaking up because of society. And we'll do our best to support NASFAT in this to ensure that every woman who needs help can find help. Is it only restricted to Muslim women or Christian women who can call? NASFAT is serving humanity. Fantastic. It is not limited to only Muslim. The Muslims, the Christians, the, the, the free thinkers, everybody is welcome. Fantastic. All right. Everybody, thank this is service to humanity. You just call the number and, and you get response. Fantastic. Thank you so much for my